up for sale now vehicle max of a beautiful 2008 mercedes gl 320 diesel black on the outside with tan leather interior car is completely loaded up with factory navigation factory backup camera factory power sliding moonroof plus a rear sky view power tailgate front and rear parking sensors heated seats uh, curtain side airbags seat side airbags and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. As a clean title and a clean Carfax, you can view right now for free at our website, vehiclemax.net. Roof rack with crossbars, running boards. Car is only 61,900 miles. Car has no dents, no hail damage, no love bug damage, no major scratches or touch ups of any kind. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. We're going to finish going around and then get inside and show you the interior options. <clears throat> Car has a, uh, I believe this is a seven passenger. Has two buckets in the front, a full bench in the middle, and a full bench in the rear. So we got two in the front, interior is in immaculate condition, three passengers in the middle, full bench, and a two seat uh, full bench in the rear, so that's a total of seven. Has a rear sky view, that's just for you to look out, and it has a uh, cover that slides up and blocks out the sun, and then this is a power moon roof, which uh, slides open and also tilts. Let's go ahead and get it started. The door panels are tan with a light mocha up here, wood trimming, chrome door handle. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel. So, the same before, power tailgate, power folding mirrors. It's got the uh, Hartman Kardon stereo sound system, dual power seats, power recliner, and memory for up to three drivers. Same thing on the passenger side, you've got memory for up to three passengers. Before I sit down, let's go ahead and pan over the seating area so you can see it's in perfect shape without any cuts, stairs, burn holes, scratches, any stitching coming apart. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, headliner, door panels, carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker. Current side airbags on this post here, this post here, and we got seat side airbags on here middle row and I don't know if you can see it from here on the front row right there's a little indicator of the airbag all right let me get inside and let's get it started it's a diesel so we're gonna let it warm up it's already been warm so let's lower the volume so you can hear me talk and while the um navigation boots up let's go ahead and open the moonroof as I was saying it is a glass moonroof it is tinted but also has this hard cover that blocks out the sun completely I mean it's got a little bit of a gauge here where the sun comes in but it barely bothers so to open it uh you, you don't have to open it up manually it'll slide back you can make it tilt or you can just slide it it's one touch you don't have to hold it it opens up on its own there stays open okay um, let's go ahead and uh, put the map navigation there's a navigation map. If we put the car in reverse, the uh, backup camera will come on. And as I was saying, we've got parking sensors up in the front as well as the rear. So when uh, you start approaching another vehicle or object, it'll give you more or less an idea when you're about to hit it. Okay, um, heated seats with three different levels of comfort. High, medium, low, and off. And of course you get the same thing on the passenger side. This is to disable the parking sensors and the reason you want to do that is in case you're towing a boat or a trailer and you're going to back it up into the water or back up the trail into a barn 
because of the proximity of the trailer, it'll just be beeping the whole time, so you can disable it by pressing here. Okay. Um, this is for the uh, uh, suspension. Okay. Um, got storage pockets here. This is just a tray for like coins or whatever you want to put on there. This is your cigarette lighter, which as you can see, it doesn't even look like it's ever been used. Cup holders here in the center. You got a little storage here in the elbow here, where you rest your elbow. And your main glove box is over here. And we got one of these uh, iPod interface cables right in there. Okay, um, the car has 61,995 miles. Car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer on the right hand side there. I'm going to rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine zoom, no maintenance zoom, nothing like that. Car is running to perfection. Also, we got uh, below the mileage there, we got a uh, temperature readout. Let's just know that it's 73 degrees outside. We've got an auto dimming rear view mirror. It's got like a little eye up there in the top there. And what that eye does is it senses bright light. And when uh, somebody puts their high beams on you, it darkens the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. Below the, uh, the rear view mirror, there's a universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a complex that has gates. Okay, uh, vanity mirrors. Okay. Um, pan over the dashboard now so you can see that there are no burn holes, no cracks, no cuts. Uh, car is in perfect shape. In the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and always close on Sundays. Let's go ahead and get the stereo going. So we can find something a little bit better. Five dollar. You can raise the volume from the steering wheel here too. All right. Over here next to it is your uh, Bluetooth to hang up and to pick up a call. And this is your onboard computer system, so you can communicate and change, uh, you know, your, your personal settings and things of that sort. Uh, automatic headlights, okay? It's your automatic setting. Okay, and fog lights you just pull, or hold on, you can put it here, and you pull there. Let's just leave it on off. Okay, uh, the power windows are one touch, meaning you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down. Power folding mirrors. And uh, let's put down that window too, and we'll unfold them. Okay. It's very clean on the inside. I mean, no blemishes, no burn holes, no cracks, no nothing. I mean, even the wood and everything is just really, really, really nice. Uh, the steering wheel, and let's, let's pan around that. It's a leather wrap steering wheel, so you, I want to go around the next and slow so you can see it's in perfect shape. I mean, it looks like it's in new condition with no nicks or, or burn holes or anything, no stitching coming apart, no color missing, you know. Right, I think we're ready to move on to the back. Let's go ahead and turn off the car and we'll put the nav, the map back on. <coughs> okay, uh, we've also got a triple climate control, what I mean by that. I never turn on the air because it's nice and cool today, but you get this wheel here where you can move it around and then this, the digital marks up here let's you know what temperature is on. So you can control the driver's side, the passenger side, and also the rear, which can, can be controlled from here or the back. So you can have three different levels of comfort um, in the interior of the vehicle. Okay, um, let's go ahead and come back over here. Okay, you got the uh, factory floor mats. Uh, here's where the rear row passengers can control the air conditioning. They can, they can control the uh, temperature, the airflow, and the fan speed. And they can also have controls for the uh, stereo as well as uh, there you can control the volume there. And here's the uh, input for uh, headphones. Got a uh, power outlet there for your chargers. I believe this pops out into a cup holder. No, this is an ashtray. Okay, uh, so two in the front, three in the middle, that's five. And then two more in the back, this is a total of seven. 
All right, and they all have headrests and over the shoulder belts, okay? Um, the rear door panels are the same as in the front. Uh, beige in the bottom with the light mocha up here, the wood trimming, uh, silver accent here, and the chrome handle. <coughs> Let's go ahead and uh, close back up here. All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not cracked or damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. All the chrome emblems are in nice shape. Again, this is a turbo diesel. All the uh, chrome trimming is really nice. It's not peeling or damaged anywhere. It's formatic, all wheel drive. Uh, rear wiper, rear window defroster. Uh, the power tailgate we can open with the, uh, with the remote right here. Make sure it's unlocked, okay. Gives you a warning, like a chime, it's, that it's going to open. Down here we've got your uh, heavy duty class 3 towing uh, uh, package and it's got the electrical connection there ready to go down there. Parking sensors I was saying to you, there's two on each side of the bumper and there's also in the front. Uh, down here this is for, for storage. Okay, it's spare, it looks like you've never even been on the ground. All your tools and all your hardware that you need to uh, remove the spare tire. Uh, these are, I think these are power folding, so let's see here. Okay, and as you can see, they're independent of each other, so I can fold flat one side and not the other. So, uh, if let's say you wanted to put a large box here, you can still use the seating here, area here. And let's go ahead and lift it. And the, uh, the other side does the exact same uh, work. Um, got another power outlet back here. I think this is like a uh, just storage and you got more storage on this side here uh, to close the tailgate we can do it right from here with the remote or there's also a switch up in the front okay let's come around to the passenger side we'll open every door four-wheel disc brakes tire pressure monitoring sensors privacy tinted glass Right rear door panel, same way. I'm sure by now you notice that there's no burn holes, no cracks, none of the speaker covers are cracked. The interior is in immaculate condition, really clean. There's anchors for your baby car seat here, here, and there's also two more on that other side. It's a little dark in here today. Is uh, it was not the greatest day to shoot a video because it's um, it's, it's uh, overcast. But I assure you the interior is in immaculate shape. This is uh, this shade here slides forward. I can't reach it from here, but it slides forward to block out the sun. As you can see, there are no burn holes, no stains. It, this, uh, the headliner is not sagging anywhere. Even these pockets here are nice and tight, you know, because you know when you have if you have little kids, they love to stick their toys in there or their feet. They just rest and they they'll stretch this material out till it just sags. As you can see, it's uh, perfect on both sides. So it looks like whoever had this car probably didn't have any kids. Or if they did, maybe they were like uh, bigger kids. Because uh, the middle section of the vehicle, if you know anything about, if you have any small kids, you'll know that that's, uh, that's, a, that's a trouble zone. Because that's where they all climb up in the seats and they eat their french fries and they bring their crayons and they create the, the mess that all little kids create. Okay, uh, power seat, power recliner, and also uh, memory for up to two, uh, three drivers. Three passengers, sorry, three um, on both sides, like the, just like the drivers. So as I was saying, you know, it's uh, it's, it's it's neat that uh, that uh, the interior of the car was have been well kept, because uh, no matter how how strict you are with the kids, uh, it's real difficult to keep the um, the the middle row section in nice condition. So uh, this one here really looks just like a like brand new in, inside and out. Um, okay, let's talk about financing for a minute. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even have some programs for really rough credit. If you live a long distance away and you're concerned about the financing, or you just want us to go ahead and get you pre-approved, just go to our website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the homepage, there's a silver tab that uh, says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve the application and get you pre-approved. There's also, if you're in the individual page of any vehicle, um, when you're viewing it, there's also a green little bar. There's five green little bars. One of them uh, says apply for credit also. And when you do it from there, it'll auto 
populate or fill out the fields for the car you're interested in, so it'll make it a little easier for us. But either way, we can always call you and figure out which is the vehicle that you want. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at VehicleMax.net. Remind you, if you have any questions, give me a call. My name is George at 305-218-5462.